Hello guys, so this is the Redmi Note 8 Snapdragon version The code name is Ginkgo And in this video I will show you how to flash custom recovery and custom ROM in this phone Using the Evolution X Android 14 And you can also use it on the Redmi Note 8G Code name is Willow And we also going to test several apps and function on this phone Such as the root beer, app police detector and other stuff Okay, so if you want to try the uh, Android 14 on this one, it is a good idea to use this ROM because it is very nice, smooth, and doesn't have a major bug. Okay, all the step and file I will provide in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello, assalamualaikum, we meet again with Ombop and in this video, I have the Redmi Note 8 Snapdragon version It is also known as the Note Redmi Note 8T with the code name is Ginkgo or Willow and in this video, I will show you how to flash custom ROM to Android, for Android 14 Okay, we are using the Evolution X 8.1 and first thing I want to show you is the stock ROM <clears throat> and this is the latest firmware update for this one it's using the MU 12.5.2 on Android 11 okay next step let's enable the developer options let's hit the MU version 5 times then go back go back again uh, sorry Let's find the uh, additional settings, <clears throat> developer option, and check the bootloader status. You can see right here, the bootloader on this one is, has been, already has been unlocked. Okay, so we're good to go. And just for your information, make sure <clears throat> you already have the latest firmware update. Okay, so the next step let's turn off the pawn and let's put it into the fast boot mode and now we are in the desktop okay so this is the step and this is all the file that we needed to get okay so the step and file will provide my blog you can check the link in the description box okay and now let's open the cmd or powershell Okay, the first thing we want to do is flash the custom recovery. So I already have the file in here. This is this, the custom recovery. Just open the zip file. <clears throat> Find the recovery.emg, extract the file. And you can always rename the file so you will not get confused. Okay, and let's rename. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, next. Let's flash the uh, custom recovery. Let's just copy and paste the command and use this one. And just for information, this is custom recovery that support Android 14. Okay, if you use the custom recovery before, the Orange Fox will not support uh, Android 14. Next step. <clears throat> Uh, this is optional. You can always flash the PB meta or not for the all phone. But for the sake of our custom ROM, let's install the PB meta. Okay. <clears throat> let's find the PB meta. Usually, you can find the PB meta on the stock ROM. Okay and let's copy this one and click and drag the vb meta okay done and now let's reboot to the custom recovery okay sometime you cannot boot it using this command okay so we can use uh, the alternative step you can just reboot the pawn and then press the flow map okay Let's copy this one and paste it. After you hit enter, 
Let's press the volume up until you see the custom recovery. Okay, let's try it. And while still pressing the volume up, let's wait. And we're good to go. And now we are in the custom recovery. Next step is always a good idea to pick up email and AFS. Let's go to the backup folder right here, new backup, and go to the options, enable compressions for smaller size, go back. <coughs> and I always pick up the AFS and modem. Okay, just swipe it. And after this, we can copy the backup to your computer. If there's something wrong, you can always restore the file in here. Okay. <clears throat> then the next step you can always uh, <clears throat> copy the custom ROM into your internal storage or micro SD or simply just like I do just install from the ADB site load okay so go to the menu right here select <clears throat> ADB site load and swipe it okay because I'm too lazy to copy the file, we're going to flash it using the ADB side load from the command line. Okay, now let's go to the command prompt, just type ADB space side load space and then just click and write file. And hit enter. It will start the process. And the size is almost 2 GB and it's already include the gap so you don't need to install the gap scan. Okay. This is the custom ROM, this is the custom recovery, and this is the custom kernel. Okay, the custom kernel contain the kernel too. So if you want to use the latest root access, you can use the kernel too. Otherwise, simply just use magis like usual. Okay, let's wait. And now it's already done. Let's hit the home button. Go to the web partition, go to the format tab, and tap yes. Hit enter. It will start from at the internal storage. So make sure you already back up all the file that important for you. Now let's hit reboot system. And now we should see the boot logo from you is changing to the custom ROM. Okay, Evolution X. Okay, so it's quite straightforward. Nothing fancy about it. And here we go. Now we can see the boot logo of the Evolution. And now we are in the home screen, so I have installed several apps such as Rootbeer, SafetyNet, DevCheck, and other stuff to test the pond. Okay, so first thing I want to show you, let's go to the settings <clears throat> and about pond. There you go, now we are using the Android 14 on Evolution X. Okay, very nice. The first thing, uh I want to do is let's enable the developer options. Usually, I enable the build number to change the animation. Hit the build number five times. Go back. <clears throat> go to the system developer option, and here we go. Usually, I change the animation so it will feel more smooth. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's change it below 1, 0 0.5 or whatever you like. <clears throat> okay, go back again. <clears throat> you can see right here this, there is lots of menu and we can do customization from the, the Apple for menu. You can change the team. Okay, lots of goodies right here. Team. I can pack very nice, very customizable, <clears throat> and it can also change the status bar. Lots of stuff. Okay, if you like to customize this, is very nice. From you can change the button animation and other stuff. Okay, and from here, you can see the size is quite large. You can customize the size from here. Just hold and tap, go to the wallpaper and size and let's change the app grid okay usually i change it into the five uh x5 so it will be more nice 
and if you want to remove this one so it will be more cleaner just hold and tap go to the home settings i usually disable the overview suggestion and also suggestion so it will remove uh, the menu in here okay very nice and you can customize the menu in the up okay there is a lot of stuff very nice okay usually you will ask for the email and also the network connection let's check the email you can see right here we have our email so the email is not a problem and you also can see the Wi-Fi and SIM card also working okay very nice and what else uh, <clears throat> okay let's check the ROM is it clean or not we're using the root beer root beer will read uh, dangerous apps root and other stuff and not read it nice next that's the heavy pillars detector it will read the module expose and other stuff and it also pass all the tasks okay next safety net usually used for banking and a wallet okay pass also very nice so you should uh, you can use this run for banking apps and what okay let's go to the dev check <clears throat> Dev check right here, not 8 under it 14. You can see the clock is between 800 and 2 gigahertz. And it takes about 3 gigabyte from 4 gigabyte of RAM. Uh, and the internal storage takes about 15 gigabyte. Okay, very nice. And I also already <clears throat> take a picture and record video. And let's check the results. Very nice. Uh, I already tested and the result is very nice because it has the Xiaomi part so it can use the Xiaomi camera okay like in the stock ROM you can see we can access the 48 megapixel and the default on the Xiaomi camera okay let's check the result this is the result from the back camera this is from uh, the front camera and this is video from the back camera okay, hello guys now i'm recording it's in the back camera okay, hello guys now i'm recording it's in the front camera okay quite nice so whatever the result from the stock camera you can find it in this room okay very nice <clears throat> and next while else let's test the video and sound playback Okay, this is my channel if you need to find something to it samsung xiaomi even the infinix this is the latest video you can find it in here okay just let's open the short video okay uh let's open one video <laughs> okay very nice so we don't have any problem with the sound and video camera very nice all the function is working correctly there is no major bug uh, so far i've tested so for the verdict i think this is a quite nice rom quite smooth and you should try it okay because the stock rom stuck on 111 if you want to try uh, 114 this is a very nice choice okay that's all guys i hope it helps you all the final step i'll provide in my blog the link in the this is in the description box if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section okay take care see you in the next video wassalamualaikum